Hey everyone, today's recipe, I am cooking up a nice chicken stir fry that has a nice little um, spicy sweet sauce to it. And you can adjust the spicy part. If you have kids, you know, you wanna keep it kind of mild. And if you have some spicy adults, well, spice it up for them. And this recipe is just chock full of vegetables. We've got carrots and cabbage and onions and bell pepper and snow peas. So it's just loaded up with some really good nutrition. And we're gonna serve it over a bed of rice, although you could serve it over some cauliflower rice. And I have a recipe for you if you'd like to, to make that version of it. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after this. All right, let's go over our ingredients. Now, first up, we're gonna talk about all of the ingredients in the sauce. We have coconut aminos, that's what I'm using here. That, for those of you that don't know, that is a soy substitute and it's gluten-free, and of course there's no soy in it. It's made from coconuts. I like this brand, Coconut Secret. It seems to be the best one in terms of their ingredients. They have lower sodium and lower sugar, so I recommend that. Now, for a little bit of heat in this, we're using Tabasco sauce, but this one is called Chipotle. It has a little bit of Chipotle heat in it, so it's a little smoky. It's, it works really well in this recipe. We'll need some honey. I have some fresh uh, minced garlic. We're using some arrowroot to thicken up our sauce just a bit and we'll use some rice wine vinegar as well. Now for the rest of our ingredients, we have our chicken. I'm using chicken breast here. We're just gonna chop this up into bite-sized pieces. And my vegetables include the snow peas, some finely diced onion. I have a red bell pepper here that we chopped up, grated carrots, and some sliced, very thinly sliced cabbage. Now you just take your knife and just, you know, just kind of shave it off so it stays nice and, and thin. We'll need some garlic powder. I have some avocado oil, some salt, and to garnish this up, I toasted up some sesame seeds. You do that real easy. Just toss them into a dry pan over medium heat and watch them close and just toss them until they turn a nice golden brown. All right, it's time for our chef joke. Now I have two today. I'm gonna give you one now and one a little bit later. All right, so what do you call a mischievous egg? A practical yoker. So I'm gonna start off by mixing my sauce ingredients first and I'll place the coconut uh, aminos in the bowl. And I'm gonna add the arrowroot and mix that because you always wanna mix your arrowroot with a liquid that's cool so that it doesn't clump up. So we just wanna do this a little bit at a time so it dissolves right in. And we'll add the rice vinegar. And let's get that chipotle Tabasco sauce in there. And again, now this is where you can play around with this and make it as hot as you want. So I'm gonna go about three quarters of a teaspoon. If you wanna go mild, go about a half a teaspoon if you're you know, giving it to kids. And if you're doing adults, you can, you know, one to two teaspoons. We'll get the job done. We'll add the garlic and the honey. And you'll want to adjust this as well. Now I'm using the coconut aminos that's teriyaki, so it has some sugar in it. So I'm just gonna go a little lighter on the honey. Now just stir that until it's combined. So we're ready to start cooking. I've got a cast iron pan here. You can use a wok, of course. I don't have one, so I'm using a nice big cast iron pan. And when you're stir frying, you wanna cook over you know, medium high to high heat. So I've got my pan here and I'm heating it up with medium high heat. And I'm gonna use that avocado oil because it has a higher smoke point than say olive oil, which is my other choice of oils to use. So I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in the pan. All right, I'm gonna try and lay this in there a single layer if I can. Add some salt and a little garlic powder. Oops. Trying to get each piece to be touching the pan so that it'll cook up. So the chicken cooked this way, cut up into small pieces, 
uh, actually cooks up rather quickly. It's only going to take just a few minutes on each side. And you can always just cut into one of these, like to take this one and cut it in half, and you can see that it's, it's basically it's done. All right, so once it's done, I'm going to start taking it out here, and I'm going to place it in this dish behind the pan. Now, depending on how much oil is left in the pan after that, you might want to add just a little bit more, because we're going to start cooking our veggies. So we're going to start with our onions, because onions take a little bit longer than some of the other uh, vegetables to cook. Toss those in. Same thing with bell peppers. They take longer to cook and soften up. And the same with the uh, snow peas. So we're going to stir fry this for, you know, just maybe four minutes or so. And we'll add the rest of our ingredients. So this, this, the beauty of this recipe is it comes together very quickly. It's a nice meal you can, you know, put together during the week. It doesn't take long. There is a little bit of prep, you know, just chopping up a few things, but the actual cooking time is quite quick. Now feel free to sub out any vegetables here that maybe you don't like as well as others. Maybe you want to have broccoli instead of snow peas or you want to have broccoli in addition to all this. That's great too. The zucchini works well. I mean you name it, it works. Alright, so here we are after four minutes. So in go the carrots and the cabbage. Nice and colorful, huh? Look at that. Okay, so we let this go for just another uh, maybe two or three minutes. We could add just a touch of salt, but we have enough salt, I think, from our sauce, so I'm just putting a little bit in. And I pretty much just keep everything moving because it's only just a few minutes. Now all we have to do is add the chicken. Add that back in there to, you know, reheat it, make sure it's nice and hot. I'm going to turn the temperature down just a little bit. Let's give this a toss. Work that in. And now we're going to add the sauce. So I'm going to give it a nice little mix again so that everything's well combined. And then we'll just pour it right in. Now we want to bring this up just to a little simmer, let everything mix in there with all those flavors, and that sauce will thicken up. So before we serve this up, I just want to give you my second chef joke. All right, here we go. Did you hear about the chicken who could only lay eggs in the winter time? She was no spring chicken. All right, let's do this. So I'm going to serve this up with my white rice. So if you want to keep it low carb, you could even serve it with zoodles. That would be great. I almost forgot the sesame seeds, right? We'll just sprinkle a few on there. You got to have that, right? All right, let's do a bite. That sauce is what makes it. It has got a nice little tartness to it, a little sweetness to it. It's got a little bite to it from the, all that garlic we put in there and that, that Tabasco sauce. It is really delicious, guys. It makes the dish. It's very fresh, very quick to put together, and super healthy for you. So, hey, if you'd like to see another uh, video with some chicken in it, I've got a one-pan fajita dish that you really should try. I'm going to leave a link for you right here. Click that and go check it out. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment. If you like the jokes, give me a thumbs up. We'll see you next time, guys.